Well, I do believe they are floating blue marbles. Eat it! Or, you know, touch the strange floating foreign object. That Hello and welcome back to N Plus One Channel. This is Carl and this is episode two of Let's Play Blue Dragon. I almost called it Lost Odyssey. Same company, different dimension. So let's walk up to, but well, actually, hold on. Is there anything in this room before I commit to uh, continuing the story? Oh, there's a door there. Locked. I'm glad that's locked actually. Oh, hey. So this is why it pays to explore, ladies and gentlemen. We got medicine. But look at that! More treasure! Yeah, if this is your... Ah, hey, we got a, a uh, tutorial. To equip accessories, open the main menu and select accessories. Select the character that you want to equip with the accessories. Select an accessory slot. All the accessories available for that slot appear on the right side of the screen. Select an available accessory for the accessory slot. Your current status and the difference after equipping the selected accessory is displayed on the top of the screen. The effects of the selected accessory are displayed on the right side of the screen. To equip the selected accessory, press the OK button. So it looks like you uh, you don't have the option to defer your uh, tutorials like you do in Lost Odyssey. See, that's OK. For the most part, all the game mechanics in this one are really straightforward. Um, that is, if you're familiar with uh, JRPGs. And, and JRPGs actually are a genre that I played a lot in my life. Um, when I was in high school, you know, I was playing games like Final Fantasy VII, VIII, and Legend of Dragoon, Legend of Gaia. Uh, I had a, I had a great friend actually. Um, he's not with us anymore, unfortunately, but uh, he actually turned me on to a lot of JRPGs. There we go. Stone necklace gives me extra defense. Let's get it. I miss that guy. He was a good guy, actually. He's been gone for a little under three years. What are these? Well, I do believe they are floating blue marbles. Eat it! Or, you know, touch the strange floating foreign object. That That's okay, too. <gasps> Swallow the spheres. Oh, hey, I was right. You do eat it. Hey, did you hear that? Mm -hmm. I sure did. There's a voice in my head. Who are you? Where are you? Come out! Do not be afraid. I'm a friend. A friend? Can we trust it? Hmm. Well, then, show yourself! Something's coming! Uh, you know, you could swallow the spheres. You know, they're not actually really advancing on us. They're just kind of standing there and dancing. Uh, yes, I am detected. Hey, come here. I, I don't know. How do I, how do I cheat? Surprise attack. Dang it. I didn't mean to quite do that. Oh, wow. Nice. Let's defeat the Mecha Robo. Oh, wow. She actually has way lower defense. Oh, no. I bet you the reason why I did so little damage actually on Shu is because I, uh, I equipped that stone necklace. Mechanically, I kind of wonder how that really works, right? Does he hold up the necklace and like it punches the necklace first? Anyway, I think we're supposed to run. Like maybe that door that was locked earlier is not. Yeah, exactly. Where are we heading? Oh, is that the land shark? Oh, oh, wait. I think this is actually almost like a mini game. Yep. 
There we go. Ah, uh, the handle is clearly budging. I gotta, like, keep mashing that A button. Ah! Did we get it? Did we get it? Oh. I actually thought we got it. I guess I should use that medicine on uh, Kluke soon. Actually, maybe with this next to Oh, no. No. Item. Uh, heal and medicine on Kluke. There we go. Pretty straightforward. Come on, just attack Shu. He's like, got the best defense. Come on. How much does it take to kill these things? Shoot. Oh, uh, you know what? I guess I... No, no. Heal. Medicine. Clue. Yep, that was a good decision. I didn't know she was going to get attacked next, but... You know, a lot of people don't seem to like turn-based JRPGs these days. And I'm, uh, or turn-based RPGs these days. And... Quite frankly, I don't really understand why. I, I think that... I, I don't know how to explain it. Um, I really enjoy this sort of maintenance and strategy that is typical of a JRPG battle system. Uh, it's definitely not perfect. And it, it, it did evolve uh, in part because the original Final Fantasy used it uh, supposedly as a way, I guess, to to optimize the gameplay. I'm not really sure the reasoning there or how that works because there certainly were action uh, RPGs. But that is what I remember reading. There we go. Turn it again. Turn it again. Oh, look at that. We closed it all the way. Way to go, Shu. Way to go. <sighs> that was close. <gasps> oh, no! At this rate, they're going to break through the doors. They just don't know when to give up, do they? No, they don't. Hey, this looks like the land shark, a miniature version of it. It does. Do you think we could ride it out of here? How do we operate this? We'll figure something out. What if we can't? Swallow the light spheres. It's you again. Whoever you are, if you're watching us, how about giving us a hand? I can't yet reveal myself. Well, that's not very reassuring. We're running out of time! Swallow the spears. Then you can control the mech ant. Hurry. just have to trust it. Hey, you with the weird voice. You're responsible if anything bad happens to us. Yeah, Join. that'll tell them. Swallow the light sphere. So I don't know what happens if you pick no, but uh... Here goes. You, you do, you do kind of have to. Something's wonderful. What's going on? Hey, weird voice! Tell us what's happening here! Maybe next time. We need to get moving. Uh, 
All right. So now we have our own cool blue shadows. Whoa. Wow. And they are significantly better than our regular attacks. All right, I guess we could keep fighting these things. Um, but I don't actually have to. I can just get in the mech hat. There's so many. Hurry, hurry. Now, something I'm curious about is who opened the bay doors? And I actually don't know the answer to that because it, it's kind of convenient that we have exactly the right amount of power to take these things out. And then, right when we're in position to maybe escape from the thing that's flying, we magically get the ability to pilot it. Or, well, you know, crash it, I guess. Well, you know, all the voice said is that you could pilot it. It didn't necessarily say you could pilot it well. Hey, let's lose a wing. See, I told you it'd be a great idea. And that's when you become a wing diver. I won't give up. Believe Maybe it. We should. Hurry. We got to get out. Well, where the high holy hedgehog are we? We're nowhere near home. Well, actually we might be, I don't know. I don't remember. It's been way too long since I played this. Hey, are you guys all right? That was close. Clue! Whoa! Healing magic stops internal bleeding and broken bones. Thank you, Jiro. Who, me? Yeah, that's right, you. You healed her with that weird shadow. Then this must be magic. Must be. What I was thinking was, I need to help Kluk and heal her wounds quickly. Then my shadow appeared. It was like my feelings were transformed into power. Or it felt like that, anyway. You mean your feelings turn into power in the form of a shadow? That must be it. This power could have something to do with our feelings. Man, I'm thirsty. Shoo, there's a waterfall over there. Oh. Conveniently placed next to the save point. Let's go ahead and save. There we go. Wow, we're actually 52 minutes into the game. Doesn't feel like it. What I wouldn't give for a mini map, there's clearly a treasure chest. Oh my gosh, look at all the treasure chests. I, I am really happy that it's actually encouraging all this exploration, to be honest. Can you inspect any of these rocks or anything? No. I don't. Hey, got an antidote? I want accessories. I oh, I got a ruby. I don't know what you could do with a ruby. Uh, didn't I skip a treasure chest? Hold on. 
All right, here's a me cat. Nothing. Right, nothing. If you push it, it might move. Join. Uh, yeah, maybe. Oh. Hey, I got money out of that anchor. Don't ask me how that made sense, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's also nice too. So once you've saved, it looks like it actually puts a bubble around the save point. All right. And let's get this treasure chest. Item. You drank some water. And it heals everybody. HP and MP have been restored. Delish! This water really hits a spot. I feel magic power like before. It's true. That's so strange. Okay, now that we're feeling good, let's hurry back to Talta Village. Right. Join. All right, time to hurry back to Talta Village. Right. Oh, this doesn't have the uh, camera zoom that Lost Odyssey has. That's all right. I mean, it doesn't really need it. Looks like we can push it. There we go. Oh, hey, another treasure chest. This is like 10 so far. Stone bracelet. Hey. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, accessories on maybe Jiro. It said bracelet, right? So that's going to be arm. Cool. That actually gives him, wow, plus 10 attack actually seems incredibly powerful. I'm just kind of uh, examining what kind of spells we have. Heal, okay. And Kluk has wind. Cool. Yeah, each one of the shadows, or whatever they call them actually, has uh, has their own specialty. I can't remember if you can learn between the shadows like the, the balance of the other powers. I don't think so. Because you really only have these three in your party. It's Oh, hey, welcome to the world map. Enemy encounter. To enter a battle, run into an enemy. To initiate a battle while moving, press the X to dash attack into an enemy. Or use the encounter circle and field menu to improve your odds. To display them, pull the right trigger. You can fight enemies that are within the encounter circle, but not those outside of it. The name of each enemy within the encounter circle will be shown on the right. To start a battle with a single enemy, select the name of the enemy and then select the fight one enemy option. To start a battle with multiple enemies, select multiple enemy names and then select the fight selected enemies option. To start a battle with all the listed enemies, select the fight all enemies option. Okay, so if I remember correctly though, you can actually cause enemies to fight each other if you can get the right types of enemies together. At least that sounds familiar. I, I can't remember if that's actually true. Item. Lost. All right, like I think, I think if I get both of these guys in here and do the fight all enemies. Hey, multi-monster encounter. Worth five Gs, but that's okay. Yes, monster fight. So check this out. Those Katie dids are gonna basically kill, yep, kill the food snakes. And that took those two's turn. So now all I have to deal with are these jerk faces. Wow, look at that. Yeah, Kluke's uh, shadow isn't too weak, honestly. The only reason why Jiro's so strong is because of uh, that stone bracelet. Hey, I got a new skill. Magic Sword level one. Okay, that's actually the very first magic ability. Equipping skills. Classes and skills can be combined together, such as Sword Master Class that can use white magic and so forth. To equip skills, bring up the main menu and select skill. Select the character whose skills you want to equip. Select the skill slot to contain the skill. All available skills appear on the right side of the screen. Select the skill you want and then press OK. Your current status and the difference after equipping the selected skills are displayed in the upper part of the screen. To equip the skill, press the OK button. 
The skill displayed with star is a basic skill for your current class. The basic skill can't be removed. As you collect more SP, the rank of your current class will increase and you will have more skills to choose from. There are certain ways you can increase the number of skill slots, allowing you to equip more skills. Try different combinations of skills to create your own best shadow. Oh, hey, look! Crap! Search it! There's a small poo on the ground. Search it? Yeah. Squish, squish. Got 13 gold. Squish, squish. All right, hold on. So, I think... Skill slot. What do we have here? Wait, what? Okay. Well, wait. So, I don't... Basic skill slot. I thought it said I earned, like, an extra one, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe not. Let's see. Stone ring. It increases my magic attack. Oh, well, no, no, not on him. Put that on her. There we go. Boom. We all got cool accessories. You have to accessorize a little bit. We got some mega medicine. Whoa, hey, ancient Katie did. Detected. What, what? I know about the monster fight thing. I already did it. You don't have to teach me. It's all good. Although, we can do this right now. Haha, -ha, fight all enemies. That is a really cool mechanic, actually. Because it basically makes your battle go easier. And I don't think it actually takes away XP, though I could be wrong. I'll have to actually look that up. <laughs> I like just how, how how weirdly it says dead. Defeated. Dead. Playable. Locked. Wow, that power bracelet I put on, G on uh, Jiro is just fantastic. I'm pretty sure that nobody uh, watching this game has ever played it because it didn't come out in America. Um, but there was this uh, series of um, a bullet hell shooters called Cyverrier, and every time you'd level up, you'd have to spin and get near bullets and stuff, but it'd go level up, level up, level up. That's what that reminded me of just a moment ago. What's that? Another land shark? Let's go see. Playable. Aha! Welcome to the Lot Wilderness. Not the Lost Wilderness. Uh, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not missing any items. Okay. Or I walked completely out of the area. A whale is fine too. No, 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 no. Go here. I really thought I could walk through there. There's, oh, well, there is a mini map, but the mini map doesn't even really indicate that it should just like end randomly. All right, we got ancient Katie Dids and Pooh Snakes. And let's do it again. Fled, you didn't flee. You were caught in my encounter circle. Monster fight! Hey, actually, why did the... Oh, it's because of the turn order. There we go. Gosh, it's just, just one hit kill with that one. Yeah, maybe one of these days I'll hunt down the uh, the DS game, actually. I still have an original Nintendo DS. I don't even own a 3DS, actually. Which I've been thinking about getting um, when it comes out in, I think, June or July. There's going to be a new, um, it's literally going to be called a new 2DS XL. And to be honest with you, I, uh, one of the reasons why I actually never got a uh, 
a 3DS is because I didn't really care for the 3D aspect. And I know that some games is really cool. Uh, to be honest, it actually causes me a lot of discomfort. And I don't know if that's because I'm nearsighted and I have glasses or whatever. Um, but I could never get it to quite work for me. Like, like I'd see the 3D for a little bit and then it would just seem to kind of go away. Um, all right, so I know there's a treasure chest up there. And there's Pooh Snake, Katie did, Pooh Snake, Katie did. Where are, are you running after me? Hey, look, there's a treasure chest. Yeah, I know, I saw it. Can we get it somehow? We'll have to think of a way. I was, I was literally just saying that actually, ladies and gentlemen, they are reading my minds. My, my, my minds. Deodorant. I, I really feel like the game's trying to tell me something here. I have no idea how you can get it. Can I bump the tree or something? Nope. Hey, I got gold out of a tree. I got a bad feeling about what's ahead. Looks like we better be careful. All right, so I guess we have an overpowered uh, enemy in the area. No, 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 no. Oh, they, they he moves so slowly. I'm actually really not sure how to get that treasure chest, to be honest. If you guys know and you're watching this, let me know. I'll, I'll gladly go back for it, probably, maybe. I think I see a treasure chest I skipped, too. Also, the way that this sand texture moves is a little weird to me. I guess it's not sand, though. I got it. Hey, magical medicine, like that. Yeah, I'm gonna fight you, you're darn right. Smirking scorpion, smirk no more. All right, now I don't know then if status effects are a thing yet. I do have, Oh, that's not enough turns to kill it. It's gonna attack, yep. Wow, it's a lot stronger than everything I've got. Or everything that I fought, not everything that I've got. Boom. Yep, go ahead and bow, ladies and gentlemen. That was amazing. Rank up, new skill. Black magic level one. And we got another stone ring. Oh, that's exciting. All right, who should I, uh, who should I accessorize? All right, she's got a stone ring. He hasn't really used magic yet. Because all that does is increase magic attack. Now, unless Shu's ability with that sword art counts as a magic attack, I'm not really clear on that. Let's see here, skills. Yeah, I don't, I don't see how I can actually like do anything. Now, how do I change like the classes or whatever? Because it mentioned that I could. Spells. Spellcaster shoe. I can heal. That's actually really convenient. Healing out of battle. I'm just not seeing... Uh, let's see here. Shadow. Maybe it's under shadow. That's what it is. Okay. That's what it is. So I can actually either have the sword master, black magic, or white magic. Oh, and they've actually all got the same choices of classes, actually. So I kind of like the distribution now because we basically have a heavy black magic user, uh, a white mage, and uh, a class that's capable of doing... You know what? No, that's silly. I should really change it up. So let's give Jiro Swordmaster. Yes. Aha! Oh no, this is totally worth it. Okay, this is totally worth it. So, let's give her the white magic. Yes, and then we'll keep the black magic from there. And, all right, so sword master, white magic. And let's give Shu the black magic one. And we'll equip magic sword level one. 
Yeah, that way we can work on the different sets of skills and everything. I like that idea. I really like that idea. Well, ladies and gentlemen, actually, it is about that time to end the episode. Uh, I realize that this is not a very good place to stop. It's not very safe, but that's okay. I won't be leaving the controller, really. I'm going to be starting episode three momentarily. So you know what? If you enjoyed this episode and you want to see more of Blue Dragon or Lost Odyssey or any of the things that we do here on N Plus One channel, I would love it if you give this video a like. If you have anything to say, go ahead and make those comments. I love comments. I will respond to as many comments as I possibly can. Uh, I, I have this goal of responding to every single comment on the channel. I don't think I've actually missed any over the years. I could have. Um, I mean, unless it's like a spam comment. I, I get those sometimes. And then also, if you haven't subscribed, please do it, actually. Uh, I love to see that subscriber number increase. I really like to know that people enjoy what I'm doing. Either way, even if you don't subscribe, you know what? It doesn't stop me from recording videos and uploading it. And, and trust me, it hasn't stopped me over these years, actually. I've been doing this channel now going on almost two years. Um, there's a lot of cool series, of course, that we do uh, on here. So it's not just me. Uh, my friend Pete actually is a regular co-host, and he does a lot of series with me. Right now, we're actually in the middle of uh, Near Automata. So, uh, yeah, this, this, I'm doing this Let's Play in 2017. It's weird to think about it being 2017. And it's really strange to realize that this game is actually 10 years old. It doesn't look like a 10-year-old game, actually. So, well, anyway, you know what? We always do the thing here. And, in fact, hey, let's keep doing the thing. I'll see you next time for Episode 3 of Let's Play Blue Dragon. Later. <laughs>